Well hi guys, it's George from Cyprus Insight and today we're at Brodara and we're going to have a little walk down the coastal path I'm starting off at Zorbas by the Sea the Delish Bakery, there it is there and we've just been in there guys and had something delish look out for the video for Zorbas by the Sea there's Fig Tree Bay just on my right Going down the slope. Oh, I do like the slope. There we are. There's the rising beach bar, guys. Lovely beach bar. Started off with a little beach bar just on the left, a small thing. Now it's a really gained momentum. It's got seats round to here, some on the left and the right. It does special cocktails and sandwiches and all sorts of bits and you can get one of those uh, filled pineapples or watermelons. We've had one of those, look out for the video, it was really delish. So we're in August guys, it's about 40 odd degrees. We've got a cool breeze today though, not too bad at all. There's quite a lot of these massage tents turning up. There's one here, guys. Look. I think that turned up a couple months ago, I do believe. And they're doing a special offer. A whole hour's massage for 40 euros. There you are. Ah. Yes, good idea, guys. I missed that last time. The jungle float. I said, there's the jungle float, and we'll go past the little kiosk, and I walked in that direction. Silly Billy. Oh, do you remember in the storm back in um, February time, we were saying, oh, they're going to fix the shades here. Well, they've done it, guys, look. I forgot all about the shades, little viewpoint. Ah, we can go down there anyway and see the jungle float. Yeah, let's go out on this platform, viewing platform, should I say, and uh, see the jungle float, and then we'll go past the kiosk. There are. There's a few people enjoying a, a drink and a comfortable bench. Oh, it is conveniently located as well, just here. There's the jungle float, no one on it at the moment, but you can see it's got a slide on one side and some sort of rope on the other side and the best thing on it guys is the trampolines, can you see them on this side? You go onto the platform, jump onto the trampoline and straight into the water. Wow, great fun guys. So that's the jungle float. There's the pontoon for the jungle float. There we are. Now let's go to the kiosk. There's the little kiosk for the jungle float. You can see how much it is as well, can't we? See what it's all about. So I missed that last time. Missed the kiosk. Oh, it looks like the crew's grabbed the conveniently located bench. Let's go around here, shall we? Ah, there's the board for the jungle float. Half an hour, 12 euros. An hour, 17 euros. There we are. That's the jungle float. And you just pay this lady here. There is lots of safety equipment as well. So there we are. Lots of safety equipment, as I say, they're available if you want a life vest. You go onto the floating pontoon guys and you just swim out to the jungle float. So now guys we're at the start of Brodara beach, the main beach. Let me just point out the start of the beach guys. So I want to show you something. Let's go down here. There. Look at this area here and it wonderful. The first bit or the last bit whichever way you're coming can you see we've got lovely soft sand going into the water and then there's a gap between the rocks 
and then you can go out snorkeling look at that and it beautiful here so that's right next to the jungle float guys a beautiful area to snorkel and there's a little island there as well yeah a little secret for you right let's get back on our coastal path shall we there we are right let's go down oh actually let's go this way because there's a slope oh i missed the slope have i no i haven't it's there there's the slope guys i'm just gonna go straight this time too what let's just go straight shall we oh it's not as good is it guys bump 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 down those steps no nowhere is nice never mind we missed that slope right there's the start of the beach as i say there's water sports here available and just in the distance you can see the boat pier guys oh another water sports area and there's our lifeguard now guys we are going back on one of the boat trips there's a boat pier just further down on the 20th of september we're going to go back onto the saint georgios that fantastic evening disco trip it's the 80s and 90s disco and if you fancy coming along guys and you're around on the 20th of september just send us a message and we'll get you 20 percent off the ticket price you can see how busy it is can't you guys all the umbrellas and sunbeds are now taken up there we are not one left not a problem if you're staying in one of these hotels just go off across our famous coastal path and you're back on your hotel now there is a gentle slope guys going down onto the beach and of course that beautiful sandy gentle slope into the water perfect here we are about halfway down i think just let these people pass oh i haven't seen that this year guys people playing uh, some sort of ball game right next to the water's edge there's the free showers don't forget if you do hire a sunbed or an umbrella you get your wi-fi included two euros 50 an item and free wi-fi just ask the sunbed guy to uh, give you the cold surprised how many people actually are on the sunbeds at the moment i would have thought the sea would be full up with people wallowing in that cool sea oh there is further down guys there we are. yes there is further down now there are gaps around guys if you bring your own uh, equipment your own umbrella and what have you you can always set it up in the gaps so there's a big gap here you see now, there's a lady there she's just got uh, towels and the chap there's got an, an umbrella and uh, towels now look at this guys this is my favorite corner kiosk there it is now we did a little video down here we had a, a meet up a meet up at the corner kiosk there it is lots of people came it was fun it was fantastic guys it was really great to meet some of you viewers we all came along here some of us went for a swim and some of us had corn on the cob on our favorite corn on the cob kiosk look out for the video we did a, a little video so once you picked up your refreshing drink or your corn on the cob 
you can always sit down here on this Hickledy Pickledy conveniently located bench. There we are guys, a corner kiosk, corn on the cob, really delish. Guys, we decided we're going to have a little meet up here, why not? On the 14th of August, we'll be here at one o'clock, we're going to participate in a lovely corn on the cob and a refreshing drink of that amazing kiosk and then perhaps we can go for a refreshing swim how about that guys so if you're around at one o'clock on the 14th of august come along and join us for a corn on the cob afternoon ooh, ooh, sounds delish and refreshing a lovely corn on the cob and a refreshing swim that sounds like a fantastic plan Right, let's continue down guys. What a great idea the crew's mentioned. So that's the uh, 14th of August. Get here around one o'clock guys, have a refreshing swim. Amazing corn on the cob. And then back out, maybe another corn on the cob or refreshing drink. Mm, looking forward to that. There's lots and lots of these massage kiosks or uh, tents have turned up and the, this one has been here quite a while guys. I remember in the storm damage videos we could see water running through this little massage kiosk thing. It's all lovely now, I think they've painted it up and it looks really nice. Now we have got a good view of the boat pier guys, there it is. Quite a lot of boat trips you can get up there guys on the uh, boat pier. Just have a walk along to the pier itself or just before. And uh, there's people promoting their tours there. Very good value for money. And we'll be going back on to the boat pier on the 20th of September for our last disco boat trip on the St Georgios. It does an 80s and 90s disco night. We've done it twice and it's been an absolute fabulous evening. Right, let's carry on down not our coastal path. I think it's over 40 degrees now guys. So uh, Make sure you've got your suntan lotion on and you're well protected. I have mentioned that all the sunbeds and umbrellas I've been taken. Today it's Thursday. Oh guys, it's not even the weekend and all the sunbeds are being taken. So, uh, my advice if you want to sit on the beach all day come down a little bit early so you can get a sunbed and umbrella now if you do want to bring your own equipment or you just want to go and get a, a couple of umbrellas from the gift shops guys there's plenty of gaps in between the blue umbrellas but you can set up your own camp look can you see here so if you're happy to sit on a towel and have an umbrella, you can always go up to the gift shops, guys. Pick yourself up a, a couple of umbrellas. Is that an ice cream shop? Oh, yes. Always doing ice cream and slush puppy. He says, bubble your dessert. Oh, he's doing that bubble tea, guys. Look out for the video. The crew fancied the bubble tea. I've never heard of it before. I thought it's tea with fairy liquid. But it's not. It's little bubbles. Do you know the little balloons you can fill up with water and throw at each other? They're a bit like that, but a miniature version. Full of delish flavours. And then tea on top. Cold tea really is delish it's an experience I think bubble tea 
we went down to a and napa and had bubble tea in the twin shop another interesting shop here we are we can see the bulk here now i'm going to go up the slope towards the car park and then finish the video there guys what i do guys i'll carry on a little way down and then you can see the water sports centre at the end of the beach and then you can see the bulk pier there it is a lovely bulk pier and this amazing restaurant this brand new restaurant's opened there it is i think it's the rocas beautiful restaurant guys look at this lots of money spent on this place have a quick look at the menu here we are got from the grill sea bass at 28 euros got lots of stuff here on offer calamari oysters chicken noodles it's fast look at that So guys, I hope you enjoyed that little walk down to Brodara. Love this new restaurant. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.